Hello, you absolute legends. In November of last year, the biggest cheater in Minecraft history was finally exposed. After faking multiple world records over a span of more than two years, the speedrunner Minecraftvenger was ultimately caught after it was proven he had modified the game in order to get better luck. In late November, I made a video going over what happened, and at the time, Minecraftvenger was still adamant that he had only faked one speedrun back in 2020. Now, the Minecraft moderators knew this wasn't the case, because they could prove that he had faked many runs, and they had tangible, concrete evidence that this was the case. Still, Minecraftvenger had not fully confessed, at least not yet. Recently, just this month, Minecraftvenger finally came clean and confessed to everything. And what was shocking were the things the Minecraft moderators didn't know about or even suspect had been cheated. It turns out that Minecraftvenger had cheated much more than anyone suspected, and had cheated in ways that no one even thought of or brought up in the lengthy investigation. In this video, we are going to cover all the ways that Minecraftvenger cheated that weren't found by the Minecraft moderators. And it's really interesting how despite the fact that they knew the runs were cheated, and even though they spent time going through all of these runs, they still couldn't detect these particular methods. If these ways of cheating can't be seen, even though people know beforehand the runs are fake, how on earth is anyone supposed to find them under normal circumstances? This obviously raises some hard questions about cheat detection and the future of speedrunning competition. Today, we are going to take a look at the things everyone missed. What were the ways that Minecraftvenger cheated that even the best runners on the planet and the moderators couldn't detect, even though they already knew the runs were fake? Let's find out. I really hope you enjoy. Now before we go on, a big thanks to this video's sponsor, Geology. Everyone should be taking good care of their skin, because if you don't, everyone notices. And when it comes to skincare, you absolutely cannot go wrong with Geology. I use Geology for a couple of reasons. One, my skin is very oily and my wife complains if I don't wash my face. And two, my sleep is terrible so I get these really bad dark patches under my eyes so I use the Nourishing Eye Cream to help with that. But Geology can also help you if you want to fight acne, prevent wrinkles, or target signs of aging. Recently, Geology has come out with a ton of brand new products, including shampoos and conditioners, as well as body washes and deodorant. And everything I've used so far has been top notch, so I really can't recommend them enough. But don't just take my word for it, Geology has over 6,000 five star reviews. Now, for a limited time, if you use my code CarlJobs or scan the QR code on screen, they will give you an exclusive 50% off their award winning trial set. Plus, they will give you a bonus offer on one of their brand new skin, hair, or body products of your choice if you add it to the trial. Again, just click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. Now, before we get into the details, I just wanted to quickly give credit where it's due. Obviously, cheating is a bad thing, and everyone already understands that. But I think we also have to encourage people to come clean in the best possible way after they are caught. So many cheaters simply refuse to admit what happened, or they simply ignore it, and this does nothing to help the community. When a cheater says exactly what they did, even the things they didn't get caught for, and exactly how they did it, this helps tremendously in not only catching future cheaters, but also stopping similar types of cheating in the future. If someone got away with something and it was never uncovered, it tells the community they need to address it immediately and develop systems or proof standards that can prevent it from happening. Ultimately, Minecraftvenger coming out with the full details, even saying he may release the mods he used, is a good thing. And I think these actions will definitely help his chances of being accepted back into the community after the appropriate amount of time, if he or the community ever wanted that to happen. Remember, in sporting leagues, the penalties for things like doping usually only last a couple of years. Competitors usually come back. However, the people that continue to lie forever will probably never be welcomed back into any speedrunning community ever. Now, all of these specifics were actually released in a video by Minecraftvenger's brother, Nice Twice, who is also a world-class Minecraft speedrunner. And before anyone jumps to conclusions, there is no evidence that Nice Twice had any idea what was happening, or that he also cheated. Minecraftvenger also posted his own Q&A video about the cheating on his own channel, and I will put the link to both of these in the description. 
The first cheated run found by the moderators was achieved back in June 2020, a time of 3.15 in the set seed category. This was found by analyzing the loot found in chests, which wasn't possible under normal conditions. What they missed was that this run was also spliced when he enters the end. The splice itself doesn't seem to be detectable. However, because he used an existing save, one of the achievements that is supposed to be showing in the chat box isn't visible. In order to fix this, Minecraftenger did some video editing to add in the text, but the job was very poorly done, and you can see the discrepancy of the background colors behind the text. This very well could have been spotted when it was first published, but I guess everyone just missed it. In August of 2020, another run was spliced. Again, this run was already known to be fake because of the chests, but it wasn't known that it was spliced. This time, the splice was done at a different time. I'm guessing this was because adding in the achievements manually was too difficult to do convincingly. Therefore, the splice was done slightly earlier to avoid this problem. However, there is one small blemish that gives the splice away, though you can't really blame anyone for missing it. Here, on this frame, is where the splice occurs. You can tell this because the obsidian text appears on screen, but there is no reason for this to happen. This text appears when you select a new item from the hotbar, but Minecraftenger hadn't done that, so there is no reason for the word obsidian to appear. However, this can show up again if you load a save file. So obviously, at this point, Minecraftenger had saved the game and was continuously loading from this point until he got a good end. And then he used video editing to splice everything together. But he was either unaware at the time that the word Obsidian showed up, or just simply thought no one would see it. It's clear that there was a lot more video editing done than previously thought, and a lot more effort going into cheating these runs. However, over time, things got progressively worse. In November of 2020, Minecraftenger set a new world record of 221 in the set seed category. This run was noteworthy because it had the fastest recorded dragon perch in history, and since that time, no one has been able to replicate it. As knowledge progressed, it seemed like the speed of the dragon in Minecraftenger's run was just not possible. Ultimately, he did end up confessing that he manipulated the dragon using a data pack, but he miscalculated the time and thus it perched too fast. However, what they didn't catch, and perhaps this could never have been caught, is the fact that Minecraftenger also artificially spawned a dolphin at the beginning of the run to make the swim to the nether portal a bit faster. This dolphin also made the run pretty special, as it was very lucky. But there was no way you could prove it was faked, or that it didn't naturally spawn there just from watching the video. In January of 2022, Minecraftenger achieved another world record in the set seed category in 1.14. Again, he manipulated chest loot and manipulated the dragon perch, but what wasn't shown or proven was that he also increased the odds of getting flint from gravel. Normally, the odds of getting flint is 10% per block, and this is definitely luck that can end a run, especially when it comes to a run he did a couple of months later in March. Around this time, a new faster seed was found, which was called the Gravel Seed. It was called this because the top runners only had the option to break one or two blocks of gravel to try and get flint, and if this failed, the run was over. This RNG was a big sticking point in the run, so naturally, Minecraftenger increased the odds here as well to achieve a new personal best. This modification to flint drop rates is also undetectable if attempts were done offline. The only way to tell would be to get a large sample size, so just looking at one run won't help. This is why, when Minecraftenger did attempts using this modification, he did them offline where no one could watch. Also in March 2022, Minecraftenger set a new personal best in the set seed category for 1.8. Here, the end fight with the dragon is different, where it charges you instead of perching. Now, when I made my first video, people had already pointed out that his dragon charged way too much, and the odds of that happening were in the trillions. And yes, Minecraftenger did end up admitting to cheating the dragon charges as well. Then, we move to September 22, and this is where Minecraftenger ultimately got caught. When streaming his world record attempts, people noticed he was getting far too lucky with his chests, and this is where the investigation really began. However, the only thing people conclusively showed in these runs was that he altered the loot found in chests. 
What he actually did was much more egregious. Yes, he altered chests, but again, he also modified the chance of getting flint from gravel. He also made the dragon perch quickly, but this time it wasn't so fast that it was impossible, which actually made it believable. And on top of all of that, he increased the damage that the bed explosions do to the dragon to make the fight easier and more consistent. This increase in damage to the dragon wasn't brought up by anyone, anywhere. No one saw it. It wasn't even on the radar. What's kind of crazy is that Minecravenger did actually stream these runs, because he had changed so much about the run that the odds of him being caught were so high. Perhaps he had gotten away with it for so long that he felt he would just never be caught. But it's precisely because these runs were streamed that he was ultimately found out. Again, if these runs were done offline, no one could have known. Finally, Minecravenger went back and got the set seed world record for 1.8, and he again made the dragon charge. But he also increased the damage the crystals do to the dragon to make the end fight easier. Some of the things that Minecravenger confessed to were definitely detectable from day one. Things like the obvious video editing mistakes and splices. However, what's troubling are the things that were not detectable, and are still not detectable to this very day. With sufficient coding knowledge, it's possible to modify the drop rates of anything you want, and unless you provide a large sample size, it is extremely difficult to spot. We simply don't know if there are any other faked runs on the leaderboard, because we know that it's possible to cheat in ways that are so invisible they will never be seen. However, this won't always be the case. Currently, there are methods being developed to eradicate all of these issues. For example, a client is being worked on that the top players would need to connect to if they want to submit runs. When played through this client, all of the RNG elements are checked to ensure the game hasn't been modified. I think ultimately, this is where the game is headed. And as long as it's implemented and enforced, it will be extremely difficult to cheat. Personally, I don't think there are many speedruns that currently exist on the ranks that are fake. I'm sure there is probably a few, but I think most of them do get caught out. When I make videos on cheaters, it's always about the players that weren't caught for a long time. But you never hear about the hundreds of faked runs that were caught as soon as they were submitted. And I do think at the very top level, it's always getting harder and harder to get away with it. Thank you so much for watching, you legends. I hope you are having a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video.